This morning, let's talk about press passes. Are they needed? No. The United States guarantees freedom of the press. So if you're in the United States, anybody can, you know, be the press. You do not need a press pass to be a journalist in the United States. Outside of the United States, I don't want to speak for other countries. Other countries have different, you know, freedom of the press laws. But in the United States, a press pass does not mean you're a journalist. And does a lack of press pass does not mean you're not a journalist. So in that case, what are press passes for? Well, they're usually to show that you are actually with a major media or press company and to legitimize you um, when you're out in the field. So what are press passes you know, really good for? Well, sometimes when you're at a crime scene or you're trying to get past a police barrier and there's a protest going on, it can be helpful to you know, flash your press badge. But then, you know, especially if you work for a major media company, you're less likely to get you know, harangued or in trouble. If you're trying to get through borders, um, that's when a press pass really comes in handy. It's usually for dealing with any sort of like government official business. Um, that's really the best use of, of, of press passes is that most law enforcement agents or border patrol agents or anything of that sort, even if you're out of the country, um, and I'm gonna talk as like an American citizen and you have a press pass. If you say like, I'm a member of the press, here's my press pass, you're less likely to just get in trouble because they, they don't want to deal with it. <laughs> So that's the biggest strength of a press pass. But, you know, there's nothing stopping an individual from making their own press pass. It's not illegal to make your own press pass in the United States. You can do it. And like I said, anybody can be the press. So if you wanted, you could make your own press pass, you know, print out a card, use some Photoshop, laminate it, and, uh, you know, make, make a website. Bostwiki Press. And then, you know, I'm a member of the Bostwiki Press. And that's totally legitimate and in the eyes of the U.S. Uh, government. That being said, you can also, you know, make a press pass and just say, you know, your name, John Smith, uh, independent journalist, freelance journalist, and that might get you some some places and other places, depending on how close they look at it. Um, one thing I would definitely not recommend, though, is don't make a fake press pass in the sense that, like, don't make a press pass saying, you know, you're a journalist for X or Y agency, and that X or Y agency doesn't know your name or hasn't, you know, agreed to say you're part of that organization or agree to indemnify you in any, in any, in any, in any legal way in case you, you get in trouble or you get you know, arrested by the, the cops you know, during, a, during a protest. Don't do that. But in terms of like, you know, if you want to like, you have an interesting story, you're like, oh, you know, I might get a little bit farther if I say I'm a member of the press, make a press pass, make a website. It's like $12, you know, get something on godaddy.com, make a website and just throw it up there. And there you go, you're, you're now a member of the press. And you can call up and be like, hi, I'm a, you know, a member of X and Y Press. I'm a journalist for blah, 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 blah. Just, and most people, you know, when they hear press journalists, most people for most stories, they're excited. They think like, oh, I might get some publicity. Um, and that'll, that'll carry you a long way uh, if, you, if you're trying to get a story. Other times, it won't carry you a long way, uh, depending on what type of story it is. If you say, hi, I'm a journalist, you might get a dink, it, especially if the person's smart or media trained. If it was, you know. Most, <laughs> most people that are media trained, you know, hi, I'm a journalist. Oh, hang up that phone. You know, it's like the police. You know, don't speak to them. But, <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're trying to nail down a story or a lead and you think it might help you or might, you know, credentialize you um, a little bit, there's nothing wrong with making a press pass, um, at least in the United States. That being said, having a press pass doesn't really mean anything inside the industry. And like having one person having a press pass over another person having a press pass, like it doesn't mean they're like a more official journalist or anything. I've seen press passes given to social curators that don't even understand due process in the United States, like basic, you know, basic things. You know, they could use a primer on, you know, U.S. government 101, uh, and they got press passes, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, these people. Pff, I hope they don't go report stories. Um, and other people that just don't have a press pass because their organization, you know, just doesn't use them or hasn't updated them in a while or they've been onboarded, you know, recently and they just haven't gotten a new press pass yet. It doesn't make them any more of a le legitimate journalist. Um, and they just operate it without it. You just call up, hey, I'm with blah, 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 blah. Most people won't ask to see your press pass, um, especially if you have an email, you know, email. If you say like, hi, my name is John Smith. I'm with X or Y company with Axios, and then you shoot them an email with that email um, at the end of your name, that, that, that works as a press pass for most of the time as well. Um, the third part that I like to caveat with this video is that, you know, press passes aren't what they used to be. A lot of times, like events, certainly, like let's say you want to cover you know, the latest Nike launch, right? 
and you're like, oh, heck yeah, they're launching some dope shoes. I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to say I'm a member of the press. Um, you could try, but oftentimes what, what you do is you sign up to be like credentialed for their own little press pool. Um, in that case, then you have to go sign up through their portal. A lot of companies and events do this. And then you get credentialed just for them, for that one event, and they'll hand you their own little press pass. That's a really common thing. So that's always worth a shot too, but oftentimes, like lots of events, like whether it's WWDC, right, the Worldwide Developers Conference, or any sort of big uh, event or conference, something like that, um, you know, you gotta apply for individual credentials as it is. Now, it usually helps if you're employed by a media company, you're more likely to get credentials that way. But even those people still have to apply for the like individual press credentials at that event. Um, and that's how a lot of uh, things are going nowadays. So, in summation, you know, what does a press pass really mean? Nothing. Is it helpful? Sometimes, for dealing with like any sort of law enforcement stuff, yeah, it can be really helpful just getting past a barrier. Um, or like, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm shooting, like, you know, just leave me alone. I'm using my phone to film something. I'm a member of the press. Here's the thing. That's what it's really good for. Um, but day in and day out, if you're just calling somebody on the phone, and you say you're a journalist, most people won't question it. Um, and like I said, in the United States, you can make a website. You can just be... be the press, you can be a member of the media. Um, it's one of our you know, constitutional rights as an American citizen. Use it to your advantage. Um, anyway, that's just a thought for uh, this morning. Hopefully that illuminates a little bit about like what press passes are and you know the advantageous advantages of them or disadvantages of them. You know, the, 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 the one thing I would say is just don't ever like lie you know, if you if you're going after you want to make a video, or you want to write a story, and you're not working for some company, don't say you're working for the company. Just say you're a journalist, or create your own press pass and create like, um, you know, just have it say freelance journalist on it. There is a website I think called like the Independent Journalists of the World. I forget. I'll link it in the description. You know, it's supposed to have some authority. Nobody I know uses it. I don't know. Maybe these are people that are more global reporters that sign up for this. I don't think it makes you any more of an authoritative journalist if you sign up with the uh, INJ or something like that, whatever, INJ.com. Doesn't mean anything. Those are my thoughts on uh, press passes. Do you need a new one? No. Is it really worth your time? No. But if you think it is and you think you want to go cover some event, like something that just happened with some crazy riots, you know, it's like, oh, heck, I want to run down there, but there's probably swarming with police. Yeah, just make a press pass and turn your website into, you know, John Smith's newspaper. <laughs> No, then it's a newspaper. Uh, yeah, anyway, if you want to watch another video, click here or there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.